Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Icarus. I am Zystars, and today we are going to go to the next Null Sector Zone. We're getting pretty close to the end. Uh, we heard the stomping stomping of the of the Null Sector boss in the last one. So I'm uh, I'm thinking we only got a couple more. Let's see, yeah, I did Ice Sheet Shrevel. Okay, so I could do Null Sector Finale right now. But I think I kind of want to do this one first. Monitor and record the Lone Drifter. The Assembly are new to Icarus. But if their track record's anything to go by, they'll be running the place soon enough. Okay, so it says craft a monitoring pylon. Deploy... They need you to head down there and activate some kind of newfangled device they've cooked up. <laughs> and then deploy it on top of the stone formation below the lone drifter that's a weird thing to do and then monitor it so i'm guessing we're gonna have to go up a lot of up craft a monitoring pylon Let's see what that requires monitoring pylon all right i need eight gold and four iron i have that iron gold Ooh, i'm getting a little bit low on gold all right, let's see. Monitoring pylon. Boom. We'll just leave that in there for now. Your next stop is marked on your map. It says a pylon designed for monitoring nearby wildlife. All right, let's see where they want me to go. Oh, okay. So it's not quite as far as I was before, but it's close. Okay. All right, so... I am going to build, oh, this is done by now, or close to it. I need more steel, because I want, I want some more, uh, oh, I've got plenty of gold. I want some more, what do you call it, um, oh, I want some more concrete pieces, because concrete pieces are going to be the most durable in the snow, and I did pull up, I pulled up all of the stone brick scoria ramps, because scoria is better used in the fire biome and I don't want to use them in the fire biome I did go through and I respect out of stone and into concrete weight and concrete discount uh, so they build they cost a little bit less that way we're going to be able to carry some more concrete pieces because I, I think they're going to be a lot better for building in the snow biome what's in here oh yeah I made a whole crap load of scoria bricks I I, I don't know why I don't need them but I made them. You know, we can we can go crafting, go jumping over some scoria or some some lava now. I was thinking about running some water out to this and bring it around to the base. I think it's over it's over here somewhere. And bring it around this way, but I would have to run electricity out and then run run it back, which is going to require some more scoria, but I don't really use this base. So I don't I don't think that's going to be a big deal. I was considering putting up a I think it was like over here or whatever, putting up a base up here, but you run into the problem of, of water. You're not gonna, I'd have to bring a big old jug of water out. Now I could take the buffalo and just run all the way here with the buffalo packed full of goodies, which is a, something to consider because with the buffalo, is the cart on him? No. Without the cart, He's got 360 kilograms, which isn't that big of a deal. Like, it's not, it's it's more, but it's not that much more. With this cart, I want to say it kicks it up to thousands. Yeah, 1,500 kilograms, plus all of this. I could bring water and gasoline. Uh, I probably wouldn't do gas. I'd probably just do a battery and some solar panels. So, but you don't get the desert riding saddle. But that would be fine if I did the, if I had one of these. Okay, let's see. If we drink this, it gives us... It says it cools us. It says it's a heated canteen, but it's definitely not heating me. So I feel like this got overridden somehow with the new, the new water rules. Because that should warm me up, but it's cooling me down. So this is a, this is a useless canteen. Okay. All right, good to know. Good to know. So we'll just leave it leave it here for now. There's no point in carrying it with us. So we are going to 
fill this one. Because I believe this will turn it into cool water. And we'll go get a second a second regular thermos full of full of the hot goodness. Whoops. Hot goodness that is coffee. Excellent. Okay, we're starting to get close. Let's see what we got. At first I thought this might have been the lone drifter that it was talking about, but not so much. Deploy the monitoring pylon on top of the stone formation below the lone drifter. That's a weird one. Oh, shh. Wait. Did I miss? Oh, I missed my turn. Son of a bean. Okay. I should have put a, a marker right there so I wouldn't forget my turn. But I'm probably only going to come out here one more time after this, so I'm not too worried about it. I found it without too much trouble. I did bring a lot of extra stone, but I didn't bring enough stone ramps to leave a permanent ramp up here. So I'm not going to worry about it. Maybe I'll put something up as I'm going down, and then when I come back, I can have I can get some more ramps, you know, and build a permanent platform. But I'm not overly concerned about it, since it was a bit of a pain to get up. It's a bit of a slog to get up that cliff. But it's not difficult. It was just a lot of time. Okay, so we're getting close. Following our previous path, which is kind of nice that we have those things. I might put up a couple, because I'm kind of absent-minded. I might put up a couple of those uh, things towards my... What do you call them? Why is this being such a pain? Towards my... Uh... Oh my god, come on. There we are. Jesus. I might put up a couple of the markers, these things, over towards all of my auto miners. That might be a good way to keep track of the auto miners. Because I always, I always forget where I put them because it's always so long before I go visit them again. And, you know, it's several in-game days. And if we've done missions, it's hours and hours of time. And I just kind of forget that they're there or where they're at. All right, we've got to be getting close. And there's no reason we can't use these lines. It doesn't look like they impact the the frame rate or anything like that. They're not flashing. They're just, they're barely lit. It might be more reflective than lit. Okay. Is this where they want it? Oh, is that the lone drifter? Oh, that's what it means by lone drifter. That is too funny. It's an actual drifter. Okay, well, let's see. That's a lot higher than I thought it was going to be, but... I have ladders and I have ramps. Okay, I'm not seeing a great spot, so I guess we'll just pick one and go up. Okay, we made it. Uh, so it gets to poop on me, but I don't get to do anything with it. I don't get to kill it. Looking good. Stations in place. Provide pylon 280 stone for a now. Seriously? Okay. <laughs> it better not ask for anything friggin' nuts. Anything too crazy. But I have a pick. If it asks for, like, wood or something... Oh, my God. Well, if it asks for wood, I can go to that, uh... The monitoring station back here. That thing. Okay, some stu... Damn it. That happened. Open. Ooh, I didn't make another one of those. How do you make those? Yeah, you need... You need, uh... I gotta be more careful. Because to make those, you need the... Either rope or... Oh, well, no, I don't have that stuff. Either rope or fibers. I don't have any of that. Alright, can I mine you? Yep. Oh, it still got me. That thing's annoying. Why does it get to live? <laughs> Why do you get to live, Lone Drifter? And... Poke me with the what is this called? Nothing there, hombre. Oh. 
and go some what oh my sweet jesus seriously 160 gold ore oh god i almost jumped off the edge i think i see a cave right there so let's go see if this cave is gold rich oh it's down hmm Okay, let's see what we got in here. I'm seeing aluminum. That's iron. No, that's copper. Titanium. This is a funky cave. There's some platinum, some more titanium. There's some gold. I passed. No. I did see a number of, well, I did see a number of caves. Oh, the, the, that goes deeper if we need it. Okay, I'm, I got, I'm getting 95, which means we're going to need two more deposits. Oh, no, it wants... Yeah, oh, it wants 160. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So one more deposit ought to do it. Okay. Okay, well, at least they gave us what we need nearby. I'm not sure why it wants this. I'm not sure why it wants this gold ore or what it's doing. Oh, it does say research. Drover research. So it's, it's we're probably trying to... We're probably trying to analyze the surrounding areas for things and stuff. I would imagine. Hey. I'm gonna get pooped on. Yep, got pooped on. There we go. Okay. They're gonna love that. Okay. What are they gonna love? Okay. Provide sulfur. Is there even any sulfur up here? D what? You jerk. Turns out I had to run all the way back to the volcanic region to get sulfur. There is zero sulfur in the ice shelf, which I, I guess is to be expected. Let's just hope 200 sulfur doesn't weigh as much as 200 gold. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have... Yeah, okay. We are good to go. Had to go all the way back. <laughs> all right, here we go again. This kind of nonsense is why you always bring extra walls with you. It's stuck in the wall. Or in the, in the ice wall. <laughs> all right. I do the runs so you don't have to. I'm going to get the crud again. Yep, I got it. Alright, provide the pylon with 200 sulfur. Please don't make me run all the way out to the volcanic biome again. <laughs> I don't see this working out well. Damn it. Now what does he want? Nope. Oh. Alright, mission over. So that was kind of dumb, but, you know, it... it I guess was a mission. Oh, hey, the drifter died. Oh, okay, it was just a regular one. What? A, a storm coming in? A big storm coming in. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I guess that's that mission. The only one we have left is the, uh, the final one. So I guess we are going to go back to base and take a look at... 
what we what we think we should bring. I'm thinking of switching to explosive rounds for the rifle and standard for or um armor piercing, right? The ones I got now for the shotgun. I'm thinking. Or maybe it's their incendiary rounds, the rifle, but either way, the the explosive slash incendiary rounds. And then I'm gonna make sure I've got all of the stuff for maximum hit points and stamina. What? Oh. Maximum hit points and stamina, as well as uh plenty of healing items of the of the variety the various healing items so ladies and gentlemen i do hope you enjoyed this episode if you did and you want to see more do me a favor hit the like button subscribe to the channel for a little bit more content leave a comment in the comment section and share the video with your buddies because youtube says sharing is caring and as always everyone i do hope you have a great rest of your day and sit down.